Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to this channel, Mathematic Girls Party Three Two Two Six, to be very precise. So yeah, uh, today I'm gonna make a video like on a on a particular question. You know that I have a separate you know a playlist for questions only. So yeah, this is another question which is you know going to get added in that playlist. Why am I making this video? Uh, because I saw that there is one video I had uploaded that is on basically cross product. I noticed, uh, you know, all of you are liking that video a lot. I'm getting a lot of comments right now on the, the, that video. So I thought of let's make some videos on questions only where I'm just going to give you very important questions. Okay. Uh, not randomly. I'm not going to select. I'm going to see whether like that question has come in certain exams or not. So yes, I'm going to do a question uh, on trigonometry. The, the, uh, the question which I like on which I'm getting a lot of lovely responses that is basically on a cross product. So if you want to watch that video, please go and watch it. I'm going to put the link of that particular video in the description box. So today in this video, I'm going to take one question and that too is on trigonometry. So let's get started. And yeah, I hope you can see my screen, which is this. Yes. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, the question is we have to prove cos 17 plus sin 17 upon cos 17 minus sin 17 equals tan 62. All right. So here, what do we need to do? Because the question is a question so you always know that either we start from the LHS and we go to RHS or we start from the RHS and then we go to LHS so here of course if you start from RHS that is not a good choice that is making less sense comparatively so it's better to start from the LHS so let's get started guys and you you know that uh, here we have on LHS cos 17 plus sin 17 Upon, okay, we have here upon sines cos 17, okay, minus sine 17, right? Now, do you know what I'm going to do here? I am going to simplify this by dividing the numerator as well as denominator by something. What is that? Let's find out. That is, okay, dividing... Numerator, the short form for numerator is this. So I'm going to use that and denominator by cos 17 degree. All right. Now, you know that whenever we divide or multiply anything, we have to like, we have to keep a balance, right? So here also, it's not possible, you, you know, you can just divide it by uh, like in the numerator and not in the denominator. No, not possible. So we have like, if you're doing something in the numerator, to keep a balance, you have to do the same thing in the denominator as well. So, yeah, let's uh, go ahead. So, what is it going to be? It's going to be cos 17 plus sin 17. Because I'm dividing by cos 17, so it is, of course, going to look like this. Okay, upon cos 17. It is basically cos 17 plus sin 17 upon cos 17. But of course, in the next step, when you will, you know, separate it, it will look like this. Because this is like, you know, this is 11th class uh, uh, question. I can say that my target on audience for this particular question is 11th grade. So I hope you know this. Okay, I don't need to write it upon cos 17. And then in the next step, up cos 17, cos 17. I hope you're getting it, guys. So yeah, let's move ahead. So what are we going to do now? Upon, we have to do the same thing in the denominator also. So we have cos 17 as it is, upon cos 17, and then minus sine 17 upon cos 17. Now here we are going to use a very basic formula, which you know, if you are good at trigonometry. So the formula is if we have yeah, sin theta upon cos theta. That formula is tan theta. So here, wherever you can see this form, sin theta upon cos theta, 
we are going to use this particular formula, which you can see right here. All right, so using this formula, of course, it is going to be cos 17 upon cos 17. It's very much, pretty much obvious. It is going to be 1. And then plus sin 17 upon cos 17, using this formula, it is going to be tan 17. All right, so it is tan 17. Because I'm not able to make a straight line, let me use this. Yes. Hmm. Okay, yeah. And then we have uh, in the denominator 1 minus sin 17 upon cos 17, that is tan 17. All right. Now, here we are going to use another formula, which is we are going to replace our 1 with something. I hope you know that the value of tan 45 is 1. We are going to replace 1 with tan 45. All right. So here at the place of 1, I'm, I can write down tan 45 because the value of tan 45 is 1. Plus tan 17 upon. This one I'm going to write down as it is. Okay, this one as it is minus. Here I, I'm going to do something. Can I not write down this tan 17 as 1 into tan 17? It is making no difference, right? Because 1 multiplied by anything is that number only. So I have just multiplied this tan 17 with 1. Okay, and now at this one, like in the place of this one, like I'm going to replace this one with tan 45. So this is going to be tan 45 and this is tan 17. Now, I hope everyone, like most of you can notice that we have a formula right here. What's the formula? Let's write down that. The formula is yeah, it's tan A plus tan B upon 1 minus tan A tan B. Whenever we have this form, we can also write down this as tan of A plus B. That's the formula, a very important formula, I must say. So, yeah, I'm going to put it inside a, a cloud, you know that this is very important, so I'm going to keep it inside a cloud. All right, so yes, we got this. And now in the next step, by using this formula, we can directly write down tan A plus B. Here, what is A? A is, of course, 45. What is B? It is 70. Here also A and B. So if you compare this and this, you can absolutely see that A is 45 and B is 17. And because this formula is tan A plus B, this uh, particular expression we can write down as tan A plus B. So we are going to uh, use the formula, which is 45 plus B, which is 17. So it is going to be tan 45 plus 17 is 62 degree. And can you notice that this is our none other than RHS. So... Now feel very proud to write that yes, we have finally proved LHS equals RHS. And now I know we like you know we feel very uh, you know glad basically to write down this word in our exam. But yes, we have proved. So yeah, that's the proof of this particular question. Talking about uh, what I'm gonna do next, like. Next means like what I'm going to do in my next video. Of course, I'm going to come with a lot of questions. Okay. Like one question in one video. And like all those questions can be from class 12, class 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, any class. Okay. But make sure you are uh, you know, uh, watching all the question videos as well. Because, you know, sometimes it's very much important to revise all these questions. Maybe we know how to solve this. But, uh, but if we don't look at how to solve some questions, it is going to be difficult, you know, in writing uh, that particular question or in solving that particular question in the exam. So have a look at all these videos and I hope you're enjoying my videos. If you are new to this channel, guys, please, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. I'm really, really grateful. All right, then. Bye-bye. Take care. See you in the next video.